Hey everyone, Matt here from Native Instruments. Today, we are checking out two creative effects, Dirt and Freak from the Crush Pack Effects series. Dirt is a distortion stomp box that combines analog modeling with highly refined controls and flexible routing options. Paired with Freak, which combines frequency shifting, ring modulation, and radio modulation techniques in one versatile package. These two effect plugins complete the Crush Pack series alongside Byte, which are all included with Complete Now. Dirt comes with 74 presets, and Freak includes 79 presets that are all ready to add presents to synths, glue drum buses, decimate guitars, and more. Let's throw these effects on a few different tracks and see what they can do. First, let's play this track back. I have an instance of dirt open on my 808. Let's flip through some presets. This one sounds great, let's just make some adjustments. Down here at the bottom, you have your mix knob, and this controls how much of the effect is being applied to the incoming signal. Here you have your routing. This determines how the signal is routed between stage A and stage B. Now let's switch it from B going to A. And here you have the option to blend A and B at the same time. I'm going to change it so it goes from B to A, and now let's talk about the drive knob. On stages A and B, you get drive knobs. This increases the intensity of the distortion. Since we're routing from B to A, let's turn up the drive before it hits the second stage. You can really hear how you get different tones just by changing the direction of the input. Amount adjusts the amount of distortion by introducing saturation in the first half of its range and wave folding in the second half. Instead of clipping the signal, wave folding folds the waveform of the signal back into itself. Overall, this just gives you cleaner distortion with less clipping. You have three mode selectors, one being the most subtle, two being default, which is well balanced, and three being the most extreme, which adds a crush type of distortion. Here's a few examples of what it sounds like by changing the mode on stage A. I made a few adjustments to the mode, the drive, and the mix. Let's play it back. Cool, I really feel like the 808's cutting through now. Now let's use dirt as more of an effect. Here's my lead synth, let's make it a bit more exciting. First, I'm gonna turn the drive all the way up on both sides. The idea here is to automate the mix knob as the song starts, but one thing I'm noticing is the distortion sounds a bit thin. By turning up the bias, it adds asymmetric behavior into the circuit, giving you a warmer or less hollow sound. I'm just gonna automate this mix knob from the top and then we'll play it back. I think that's really cool and it gives us a unique intro. Now let's throw dirt on some drums.
With distortion, a little goes a long way, and you don't want to distort every element of your track or things are going to start to sound a bit muddy. Let's play this back. That's great, really makes the drums just punch a little. Let's check out Freak starting with the basic modes of operation. This is the oscillator mode, which is pure sine wave modulation. This parameter controls the rate of the oscillator. You can make finer adjustments by clicking here. In radio mode, Freak emulates the behavior of so-called demodulation circuits in old AM radios. The tuning knob allows you to create the effect of dialing in the frequency of a specific radio station. And lastly, you have sidechain, which allows you to connect external sources. The contour adjusts how much of the sidechain is affecting the signal. Next, we have the harmonics knob. This just adjusts the amount of harmonic overtones produced by the circuit. Another key component to this plugin is the different types. You can morph between three different types, including amplitude modulation, ring modulation, and frequency shifting. Now let's just flip through a few presets. I really like how this one sounds. Let's just play it back in the mix. Great, last thing is these vocals. While these vocals are cool, I want them to fit the vibe of the track a bit more. Let's flip through some presets. A lot of really unique things you can do. Earlier I found a preset called Old School Maker and I really like how it sounds. Let's try it on this vocal. Pull the tuning knob down just a bit. And let's change the modulation type. Really loving this, it almost sounds like the vocals being formented. After a little bit of arranging, let's play this whole thing back. And that's Dirt and Freak, which are part of the Effect Pack Crush series. Check it out today at nativeinstruments.com or get it as part of the Complete Now bundle. Stay tuned for more plug-in walkthrough videos to see what comes with Complete Now and how you can make most of all the included sounds.